these are the five things I wish I would have known before moving off grid. Number one, quit seeking to be perfect. Nothing will be perfect. Nothing works out the way you think it should or expect it would. So the best thing, and I think that would be number two, is learn quickly how to adjust and how to make adjustments to your plan or not be so rigid in how you think things should work so out. So this is how that scenario showed up for me. When my children and I, who were both under nine years old, moved off grid four years ago, we were supposed to be on a completely different land. I had a builder who ended up stealing my money. And luckily, I had another space that was supposed to be my farm and my production area because one of my plans was always to start a tea company and to grow and sell foods like just to be a farmer right as far as how I would sustain myself anyway when that money was gone luckily there was already a cabin there that I had the foresight enough to build one year prior it wasn't all the way finished because like when you chop trees down from the land and you're making and building your own project, it takes three months to cure. There's a whole process. And so we had to live in tents on that property until the cabin, we could build our cabin and finish everything. Number two, shadow work is integral to your success. So that means do all your shadow work before you uh, attempt to go move off grid. Uh, there will be times when you feel so defeated and if you aren't strong mentally and if you haven't worked through your negative self-beliefs, it will conquer you and you will give up. You can lose it on people um, and things are going to show up when you're in that stillness and the peace and tranquility of nature, all the rumblings and things that you haven't dealt with when you're stuck in the cabins because it's rainy season and you can't go outside things show up. You start to dream differently. Like you can either A, choose to work them out, B, sit in that pain or confusion and figure out what it is. Learn how to become more in tune with nature because you don't have a choice at this point. Like your circadian rhythm resets and so you're rising with the sun, setting with the sun. And so eventually things start to release. And so I think shadow work is a really big thing that can dictate your success or failure. So Go heal. Oh wait, that was three. So now we're on four. Move in silence. Um, Believe it or not, not everyone wants you to win. It takes a certain level of courage and faith in yourself to make that move and to release everything that you've known before if that's the route you choose to take because it can look all kinds of ways, right? It's what brings you your your freedom. Not everyone wants you to win. How that showed up for me was I had people come on, more than three people who I used to invite on the property, which I think probably should be five. Don't invite people to your space. Unless they're really close to you, don't bring them there. Because I had people show up who tried to thwart my everything. They tried to literally take over my life. I felt like I was in Get Out, but with Black people. It was so weird and it's dangerous and it's scary. So one, keep your plans to yourself and don't include everyone. If everyone could do this, they would have. So don't let anyone ride on your coattails. There will be lots of groupies. But remember, there. in my opinion, I've found like there are at least five different types of people who go off grid. You have the loners, you have the tree huggers, you have the weirdos, you have the mentally ill, and you have the people who want to take over the world or the abusers who can't live around like real people in society so yeah. I think I'm gonna add one bonus and it's gonna sound like a contradiction but have a community or a person who you can go to where you can have reprieve right that person could either be like for us we were in us we left New York and we went to a new country um, it could be someone from your neighborhood, whatever. Choose a person because there will be times when you need that encouragement, that support, someone to just cry with or someone that won't judge you, who just will be there to listen or to just root you on. Like, you're awesome. I can't believe a city girl like you is like farming 
Like when my farm went to heck because of the droughts and then like cows coming in and eating it down and, and the food was running out and we were in the middle of the jungle and my car was broken down. I was like, how am I going to feed these children? They're so hungry right now. I can't have them walk the 12 miles to get to a taxi, then go down the hill and then go to the market. So like... Uh, I had to call on my angels and I'm so grateful for those people who showed up for us when we needed y'all the most. And yeah, those are some of the things I think I can actually do a four part series on this. So let me know if you enjoyed this and if you'd like to learn more about some of the tools and skills and things I've gathered being here for the last four years. All right. See yeah, one later. more thing. I would love your support. Please like this video. Share it with someone you know who this could help or who also has the stream. Spread the word so that we can prop up. There are not many women who have children or single mothers who've gone off grid. My story is a very unique one and very niched. And I thank you for all your support. Be free. Walk good. Until the next time, family. Bless up.